Hello stock stalkers, welcome back. In today's video, let's analyze some potential stocks. But before that, let's have a quick look on the indexes. Firstly, let's analyze ADX market index. I'm on the weekly chart. It means we are looking at the higher time frame. We can see rally started from the bottom right here around 9,350 area. And from here, market touched about 10,000 points. We are seeing some correction. This is healthy for the market. Last weekly closing is green. We can see some selling pressure that is around 9,800 that is resistance also. But for now, this is looking interesting to me. There are very good chances it can go higher from here. Let's go down to daily again and see how is the market looking. We can see this was the trend line that was acting as a support right here. This is the support for ADX. And now from here we can see a strong selling pressure. But the best part is it's not going down anymore. We can see a curve here. This is a good indication that now market is stabilizing and there are very good chances it can resume its uptrend. Well, talking about the immediate resistance, 9,800, strong support at 9,720. If in case, if it wants to come down for a retest, 9,720 is support. Or if it wants to continue its upside momentum, then again we have a strong resistance around 9,900. But overall, now ADX index is looking positive. Let's also discuss DFM market index. This is the weekly chart. We can see market is in a strong uptrend. Rally have started from this zone around 3330 and we are seeing some healthy pullbacks. As of now, we can see market have touched till about 4110 and it's taking a pause right at the top. Last candle that is weekly close is looking a bit indecisive. We can see two scenarios from here. Let's understand one by one. Well, first scenario is either it can go sideways for a few days and then break to the upside, the resistance that is 4110 zone. Or if it breaks the low that is around 4030, we can expect it to go down to retest 4000 area. Let's go down to daily. And let me delete this one. We can see it have taken a support right near the previous resistance. This was previously a resistance when market tried to cross 4090 points. We saw strong selling pressure or rejection. And we also saw a fake breakdown with this red candle. Very next day market recovered and now it's again in the safe zone. For now we want to see immediate cross of this area that is 4110 so that we can expect upside momentum from here. Overall, DFM market index is also very bullish. And now let's check out some stocks. This is the daily chart of Emirates and BD Bank. We know 17.10 is strong resistance. We are seeing a powerful candle that peers through this zone. For now, it's taking support around 16.30 area. If this area does not hold, there are very good chances. Slowly and steadily, we can even come down to retest 15.50. If this does not hold, there is a strong support area around 15.00. Emirates NBD Bank will be again bullish once we see a breakout of 17.10 area. For now, there are chances after this strong downside momentum, it can try to climb up to find rejection and then it can make a new lower low. For now, it's in a no trading zone. Anything above 17.10 should be considered bullish. Imar Properties is in a strong uptrend, no doubt. We can see this zone is resistance that is around 7.10 area. We saw strong rejection right at the bottom of the channel and now again market is trying to push the price higher. Last closing is also very good, 7.08. There are very good chances once we see a breakout of 7.11, we can expect upside momentum. My next mid to short term target is 7.45 area. Imar Properties is very good for a swing trade. Salik, after the price got adjusted, we can see it opened with a gap down. Obviously, we expect some adjustment in the prices. For now, this is looking very interesting. We can see a triangle pattern here and it's about to make a breakout very soon. Slowly and steadily, I'm expecting it to hit the next target that is 3.40. And then once it's taken out, we can see 3.50 very soon. Also, at the same time, we can see after this strong push to the upside, a small correction till about 0.618% that is a golden ratio of Fibonacci. This gives us confidence that support is now confirmed. More upside momentum is coming. Also in case if it comes down for a retest, 3.26 is a good support area. Talim is also looking very interesting. But before I proceed on this stock, if you are new to this channel, subscribe for regular updates on Dubai and Abu Dhabi stock market. And if you would like to have more detailed analysis, my live trades, how I enter and exit the trades and more educational content, then you may join my membership. Let's get back to Talim. We can see as of now, it's stuck within this range. This is the resistance zone. 
resistance stands at 4.25 area it's trying to cross it's getting rejected support is at 4.10 so what we do is we just wait for a breakout either it breaks this resistance that is 4.25 to take positions or if it comes down at a support if you want to have a quick entry and exit you may wait for a candle close here with a bullish momentum and then you can target 4.25 i personally do not like to trade a stock that is stuck within the range purely because if you're trying to buy right in the middle it may go up which will be in your favor obviously but there are good chances it can also come down to retest the support zone and in case if support is not holding this can give losses so talim can be in your stocking list once it breaks the resistance you can pull the triggers Ajman Bank is still in a safe zone. We can see last candle is a bit negative. We can see some selling pressure. However, once it breaks 2.45, I would be interested to buy next target 2.50 and then 2.65 respectively. Till the time it's about 2.33 area, this is still considered to be safe and bullish. And then one of the most heavy traded stock in ADX market is Multiply. I'm on daily chart as of now. It's looking very interesting at current levels. Last candle is very bullish with good volumes. Immediate resistance for now stands at 4.00. Once this is taken out, there are very good chances it will hit 4.15 very soon. Or scenario B, it can hit the resistance that is 4.00 again and come back for a retest, spend some time within this chart pattern and then we expect a breakout. Strong support is in this zone that is 3.70 to 3.77 area. Overall, multiply is also positive. Q holding is also traded with good volumes in ADX market. As of now, it's at a very interesting zone. We are seeing for the last 10 to 15 days, it's just going sideways and now it's getting ready for a breakout. This can be a good indication if it breaks out coming week, there are good chances we can see 4.00. And in case if it still finds resistance here, it can come down to retest the support area that is 3.60. But looking at Friday's candle, there are very good chances if it opens with a gap up, it may start its rally to the upside. Buruj is still not performing well despite they have announced dividends. Price is just going sideways. We are not seeing any good momentum so far. Strong resistance at 2.77. Once this is taken out, there are good chances it may continue upside. Your next target should be 2.82 area. But mind you, after the dividends, price will be adjusted and it may open with a big gap down. So if your intention is to gain from dividends, this is a good price to enter. So in case if you see buying pressure, you can benefit through the price and through the dividends as well. Strong support at 2.72 area. Ad hoc distribution so far nothing interesting. We can see it's in a strong downtrend. We are just seeing it's facing resistance right at the trend line. I was expecting a good bounce with good volumes right near 3.90. That is a support area. We can see previously it took a strong bounce from this zone. I wanted to buy this stock for a swing trade. Unfortunately, it did not give us good buying setup here. So no entries. For now, it's looking very bearish. It broke the support. It have come back to retest the same zone that was previously a support now acting as a resistance. So this is in a no trading zone as of now. Rack Properties is looking a bit weaker. Last closing is at 1.16. Mind you, this is a strong support area that is between 1.13 to 1.15. If this support does not hold, it can even come down till about 1.05. But if we see a good bullish candle close above 1.21, there are good chances it can resume its uptrend. As I mentioned earlier, next target should be around 1.30. Overall trend is still intact, it's to the upside, but now we want to see bulls flexing their muscles so that we can get some confirmation. At the same time, we have a history. Whenever Rack Properties makes a move, it spends so many days for correction. Again, we saw a big move, correction, and then we are seeing a similar kind of reaction. So hopefully this is the calm before the storm arrives. That's it guys for now. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, do not forget to smash that like button for me. Thanks for watching. Keep stalking.